What's up guys, I'm Deirdre. Welcome to my channel. I work in tech and I bring the same analytical point of view to my beauty space here on YouTube. Today we are doing a nighttime skincare routine, a get unready with me. It is 8.30 on Sunday night and I am ready to crawl into bed because I have an infant's bedtime. If you want to see how I'm fitting in my tretinoin, my niacinamide, my peptides, all the good stuff into my nighttime routine, you're in the right place. Stick around. Let's get into it. All right, let's get on ready. So the first thing I have to do is remove this makeup, and for that I'm going to be using the Ordinary's Glycolipid Cream Cleanser. This is a first step cleanser, so the instructions say that you should apply this to dry skin, and then it helps to melt away your makeup. I have been using this pretty much non-stop since I got it a couple months ago. It also is very gentle, non-stripping. It's a non-foaming cleanser, even when I rub around the eyes and get some in the eye area. It does not sting or burn. However, it is effective at removing my makeup. If I had any waterproof makeup on, I would probably opt for something a little bit stronger, but for my day-to-day -day makeup, this works totally fine. So I have been loving it, and at $12.50 for five ounces, it is a really good deal. Before this cleanser, I was using their Squalane cleanser as my first step, which is in the same bottle, so you get the same amount, but it costs $19. So this is a really good deal and I find that the squalene cleanser if you're familiar with that formula Does leave more of a film on the face whereas this completely washes away and while I do use this as a first step cleanse I don't always follow it with a second step cleanse because I feel like this both removes makeup and cleanses the surface of the skin and preps it for my next steps rather well So we'll see how my skin feels today, but usually I don't need a second step Okay, I'm gonna rinse this and I'll be back. My okay, skin is dry and I'm ready for my next step, which is always a face mist. So I am using the Tower 28 Hydrochlorous Acid Spray. And I use a different spray bottle because I prefer the mister on this one. But I just shake it up and I'm pretty generous with how much I apply. This has really made a difference in my skin as far as reducing redness. So there are only three ingredients in this product. It's hydrochlorous acid, water, and sodium chloride. That's it. And there are cheaper alternatives to the Tower 28 product that have the exact same three ingredients. So I'll list my video where I provided those more affordable alternatives below. I totally would have gone with one of those more affordable options had I known about them before I bought the Tower 28 spray, but I've already bought the jumbo, so I'm well stocked. Hydrochloric acid is a really fascinating ingredient and in higher percentages it has even been shown to kill the coronavirus. So what this does for my skin is it really helps my skin calm down, it helps disinfect it, and it also helps improve acne. I am ready for my serums and I'm going to go in with my Dermatology Needleless Serum. This is a one and done serum. It has everything that you could want. It has so many beneficial ingredients for an anti-aging regimen. It has niacinamide as well as several peptides. I do about a half a dropper worth. This is a very thin serum and it works effortlessly into the skin. I do make sure to get pretty close to my lips here because when you think about it, around the lip area is one of the first areas that we see visible signs of aging. So I want to make sure that I'm getting all of my powerful ingredients around the lips. I'm also not afraid to get this serum really close to my eyes. I want those peptides and niacinamide around my eye area as well. This is a pretty pricey serum and I always wait for dermatology to have sales. They always have at least a 4th of July sale and a few more sales throughout the year where they price everything to 25% off at least. But if you are wanting to try dermatology outside of those sale windows, so many influencers have 20% coupons. I'll list a few below, but definitely Definitely don't pay full price for this. Okay, next up is my faded serum. So this is how I get my transamic acid as well as my azelaic acid. So this helps fight hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory, after a blemish, as well as reduce age spots. So I do use this as a spot treatment and this can be used twice a day. So I definitely have a good little friend over here that I'm just going to give a healthy dose to and I'm just going to spot treat any blemishes that I'm trying to avoid hyperpigmentation, just trying to get ahead of that mark. And then I have sunspots here and also up here are the worst of them. This one is what I call my passenger princess mark. This product really works well at fading 
dark spots. It has a bit of a funny smell, but I've kind of gotten used to it, but it's definitely something that you'll notice upon first usage. In place of that faded serum, I've also been testing out this product. This brand is brand new to Sephora. It is called Lion's Pose, and this is their unspotted treatment. And as soon as I read the ingredients list, I was immediately intrigued. It is just filled with bangers. Listen to the first several ingredients in this serum. Of course, first it's water, then lactic acid, aloe leaf juice, glycolic acid, a root extract, then transamic acid, and azelaic acid. So those are all the top ingredients in this serum. It is just filled with bangers. Sephora always does this. When I am interested in a new product, they always offer a sample size of it. Of course, I made a Sephora order and got this as a sample. I used this for the first time last week, and I did find that it pilled quite a bit. Maybe that's why it's so rare that a product has all of those ingredients so high up on the ingredients list because the formulation really wasn't working for me, but that was just my first usage and I'm definitely going to be finishing this up. I only am going to be using this once a week though, so it will take me quite a bit to get through this, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated because this ingredients list is unmatched. After my faded serum, I am ready to go in with my tretinoin. This is my point 0.05% tretinoin. I only use a very small amount and I apply this pretty much all over the face. It does turn white when I first rub it in, which I find to be helpful because it shows me where exactly the product is and allows me to get a more even coverage. I do make sure that I get my eyebrows. I don't take it all the way down my eyelids, but I do want to get my eyebrows and just kind of this brow bone area, and then I avoid the rest of the upper eye area. I also try to pat it as close to the under eyelid as possible, but I want to make sure that there's not too much product up there. That's why I use kind of a padding motion to make sure it's distributed thinly and then I will just work it down my neck. Ready for eye cream, this is the Pericone Cold Plasma Plus eye cream, and this is packed with so many good ingredients. It does have a vitamin C ester in it, which I only really count on for its antioxidant properties. I'm not convinced that vitamin C esters have any brightening properties, and I've not noticed it in my own skin. Most of the scientific research and support for the brightening impacts of vitamin C are done with the pure form of vitamin C, which is L-ascorbic acid, but the esters do act as strong antioxidants that will fight free radicals. In addition to that vitamin C ester and that copper tripeptide, this also has omega-3, 6, and 9s, which helps support moisture and barrier repair. It is a pricey eye cream. No shot that I paid full price for that. I picked it up on a FabFitFun edit sale, and I just opened this a couple weeks ago, but I have been loving it. I also picked up this Belief Eye Balm recently based on one of your recommendations. So shout out, Tracy. Thank you for the recommendation. This is also in my arsenal and I'm excited to bust it out, but I'm going through what I have before I try this holy grail. Let me know if you guys have also tried this. Ready for a moisturizer. This is the Honey Halo Moisturizer by Pharmacy. It contains Ceramide NP as well as Royal Jelly Propolis and Honey. It comes with this free spatula, which is magnetized to the top so you can keep your product clean inside. And I have just been gushing over this recently. It is such a beautiful consistency. I am not shy with how much I apply. I really like to layer it on. This is just super silky and smooth. Throughout use of my more active acids, this has never been irritating. It is nothing but soothing and reparative. So last step, this is the new La Roche-Posay Cica Plast Barrier Repairing Balm. This one is new to my collection and I am just testing it out. So far, I'm enjoying it. There is panthenol in this, which is soothing. While it's a balm, it does have a bit of gloss to it as well. I can't say that I'm a fan of the taste. 
it does taste a bit medicinal to me but other than that no complaints i will definitely use this all up all right guys that does it for my pm skincare routine i am ready to wind down and head into bed i hope you have a beautiful week and i will see you in a few days for my next video bye